Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. The coffee is made. About a week or so ago, the channel surpassed 5,000 subscribers. I can't believe I've got 5,000 subscribers that watch my videos. Very impressed, very uh, uh, proud of the uh, videos I've done. And uh, I apologize, I haven't made any videos in a while. The new job has me very busy. But uh, got coffee in hand, let's go down to the shop and uh, let's get you caught up on what's going on over here. Are you ready? Let's do this. Okay, hello. I have my coffee. Let's talk. Let's see what's been going on. Well, first of all, my name is Paul. This is my channel where nerdy is cool. I cover 3D printing, cosplay. I've got all kinds of hobbies and interests and I display them here on my fun little channel. If you're not a subscriber and you kind of like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button and become a subscriber. Don't want you to miss any of my cool videos. So I kind of wanted to do a quick video and go, wow, can you believe it? 5,000 subscribers. I reached that mark about a week and a half ago and I didn't want to do a video then because I knew the numbers would probably go down because some people would like to do that to you. But uh, at last check, uh, I think we're at 5,060 or something like that. And I just wanted to say thank you guys. The channel has been a lot of fun. Uh, I enjoy doing these videos. I don't do them as rapidly as other creators because I like to make videos that are fun and interesting. I don't know if this will qualify as one of those videos. But anyway, um, I know there are a lot of creators out there that chase the metrics. They're always creating videos. And I guess if you are trying to create a channel and gain subscribers, uh, one of my uh, tips to you would be make videos you would want to sit through. Um, I've got a lot of channels that I follow and some of the videos that come out are really good and then some really come off as hurry up jobs. So uh, I think the um, secret to my limited success, again I do this as a hobby, I'm not trying to make money on it. Uh, I, I figured that ship sailed a long time ago. But as long as you're enjoying what you're doing and having fun, there you go. So what's Paul been up to? Well Paul's very busy at work working with the world's largest 3D printer, among other projects I'm working on. Um, so yeah, if, if you uh, hadn't seen that video uh, where I covered our giant Ingersoll printer, uh, I now have a job, started last August, where I am not only a hobbyist who loves 3D printing, but I am now also working uh, in 3D printing, and uh, it's a very uh, challenging and exciting field. Uh, I'll be doing a follow-up video with my boss here soon, uh, we can cover any of the comments and questions people had from that video uh, that is linked. But uh, I just wanted to also, I'm going to do a little screen share here with you guys because uh, I know people ask, you know, how's the channel going and, and you know, how does this all work? And um, in the last year, uh, we've gained 3,388 subscribers. We lost a bunch too, but that's just the ebb and flow of how YouTube works. And uh, as you can also see here, this video IQ is a really fun little app if any of you guys are managing channels and you wanna find a neat way to uh, read all your metrics. Um, this does a really good job of doing that. So this is spanning from uh, January 1st, 2019 to present, uh, although usually there's a 48 hour delay uh, with YouTube uh, getting the data. But I mean, as you can see that big, huge spike right there, I wish I could do that kind of uh, metric every day. Uh, that was the video that uh, I did on the uh, uh, world's largest 3D printer. Uh, and the uh, follow-up spike was hackaday.com um, had found my video and did an article uh, on the printer and the video that I made. So uh, a nice little bump right there as well too. Uh, if you are curious what my uh, demographics are, uh, it looks like we gained a couple young ladies. Uh, we're 99.3% male and 0.7% female. So we're still trying to get that 1.0, but someday she will come. Okay, so now that we're talking about subscribers, let me show you some kind of fun facts on, at least on my channel, it's kind of interesting. Uh, essentially, 89% um, of you are not subscribed. Hit the button, become a subscriber. 7.8% um, of you are, and 26 Google just doesn't know. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the male to uh, female uh, gender gap is ginormous. 
Um, I mentioned the countries a moment ago, and what's very interesting here, and I guess this is why the advertisers enjoy me, um, the uh, average age range that's uh, following my videos is uh, 25 to 34 and uh, 35 to 44 are the, uh, the, the big areas that they really like, and I uh, definitely seem to have captured some of that crowd. So, yay me. So, that said, enough talking about the channel and subscribers. I don't want to be self-absorbed about, oh boy, I got 5,000 subscribers. It's not going to make me any more money. It's not going to get me a better parking spot anywhere. So, it's just cool that me doing this as a hobby, having fun doing it, uh, over the last year has seen really uh, significant gains in subscribers. I know there are other channels out there that gain like 20,000 subscribers with every video. Um, maybe someday I'll get there, but I'm not obsessed with it. I'm just having fun. Okay, so we've covered the channel fun. What's Paul working on? Well, in <laughs> I've been working on a couple ideas for videos. I've actually done a couple videos, but I decided they didn't quite meet the standard that I set for myself to make them fun, engaging, and frankly, they required a lot more editing to make them more engaging for you, so I kind of shelved them. But a couple of things that I've had going on in the background. Uh, my Ultimaker 2 Plus, for example, I just received a uh, flex magnetic bed for that, and I'm looking forward to trying that out. I recently did a print on the PEI sheet, and uh, it's stuck on there so good that uh, it won't come off. So definitely, <laughs> definitely interested in trying out the flex sheet on that. Uh, another neat, fun little update is the G-Tech is gone. I have sold that off very inexpensively to a coworker, my good friend uh, Rolo. Uh, he has given it a new home. He's buying all kinds of parts for it. Uh, I think he was planning on parting it out, but he sees hope with it, which is more than I had. I just. It's a small printer, I print big stuff, and I was ready to just get away from that printer. So it has gone to a good new home. I need to work on my FT6 review. I've had some difficulties with that printer. I've also had a lot of successes. And before I do any of the planned upgrades, I just bought a E3D, it's a Hemera now, but of course, you know, since they got in trouble, it was Hermes uh, when it first came out. But uh, I do plan on installing that on the FT6. I do plan on putting a 32-bit board on there. Uh, my good buddy Keith wants to uh, uh, assist me with the 2209 drivers. We're gonna get that going. And when I can make my schedule and his schedule coincide, that might be a fun live stream we do together. Oh, by the way, Keith, I wanna do a live stream, did I tell you? Uh, other printers, uh, the CR10 that I had for forever has now been upgraded to a CR10S. I had those parts and pieces laying around for about a year. I decided one weekend that it had to get done. And it's going pretty well. And that is also, <laughs> I have a lot of printers that are in the upgrade schedule and that is on the short list, honest. For successes, the other Sierra 10S that I have, uh, that I am looking over at it as if you guys can watch what I'm doing. Sorry, I'm new to this video thing. The CR10S, I did put a, uh, an E3D Titan Aero direct drive on that. I've had that on there for about a year now, and that has worked really, really well. So I feel like now that I have some excellent experience with that setup, it's probably time to do a video on that. So that's gonna be coming soon as well. And another thing that I wanted to shout out to is the FT5, which has kind of been my problem child, but every now and then it surprises me by doing really good prints. Um, you know, printers are smart. If you say, hey, trash day is Tuesday, you get your best prints ever. So for whatever reason, the FT5, which I had, uh, that also has an E3D Titan Aero direct drive on that. Uh, the last uh, couple missions I've given that to print, it has done very, very well. Even though I have parts available to uh, do upgrades to that one, I'm kind of tempted to leave well enough alone and just let it keep printing. Uh, plus I have other stuff to upgrade anyway. So that's what's on my short menu of things to do that I keep on saying I'm going to do. The other fun thing is I still wanna work on D0. I wanna get him going. I did a whole bunch of parts for him and then they changed the, uh, once the movie came out, we obtained more data. So now Michael Badley, who uh, offers these drawings and files of uh, that, that Star Wars character from the latest movie, uh, he has a version 2 coming out, and when he releases those, I am set to let these printers go crazy and print out D0 parts. And before I wander too far from droid building, I know I'm going to get this question. What's going on at BB-8? He's been sitting there in the corner for about a year and a half, or longer perhaps. What's up? 
once I have D0 and everything else upgraded, I'm going to circle back and get BB-8 up and rolling because after the last movie, that robot is so stinking cute, it's about time to get that thing happening over here. The drive system for that guy is very expensive, but let's do it step by step. Let's, we already have the dome done, we just have to do a bunch of panels. So, if you guys are keeping track at home, that's like 12 projects that Paul's promised to work on. And if you're really keeping a score, I've been saying that for about a year. So, this time, I'm serious. So anyway, so that's what's up. I got a bunch of stuff going on in the shop. If you guys are wondering, if they haven't already done it in the background here, the cats are fine. Mama Cat, Molly, Theodore, they are living the spoiled life as they usually do. And uh, as always, they will be featured in the background of future videos. Okay, and as always, you can follow me on social media. You know the usual channels. I got Facebook, I got Instagram, I got Twitter, and of course the website where nerdyiscool.com. Feel free to follow, like, subscribe, etc., etc. You know the deal. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Feel free to throw me in the comment in the comment section below if you got any questions or suggestions. Cheeky comments are okay too. And that's it for this time. <laughs> thanks for watching. And remember, this is where nerdy is cool. Have a good one.